did a video on how to make this beautiful painter's box centerpiece last night. Well, I thought I did a video and it was basically a video failed. It did not record how I wanted it to. So I could not show you step by step how I did everything. And I do apologize. I'm, again, I am new, but I'm going to get better. Um, in the next video, I am going to show you the items that I got. Basically, um, all four centerpiece um, circular glass vases I bought from the Dollar Tree. I bought two. I had already you had two um, from a previous DIY that just I didn't like anymore. So I repurposed it. And I got these flowers. All the flowers I got um, majorly from the Dollar Tree. The turquoise flowers I got from Michael's and they had 90% off. And these um, little beads right here I got from Hobby Lobby. Right now they have their fall decor 40% off. So you don't have to use a coupon if you want to recreate this look. And then the painter's box that you will see in the next video I got. And I did the rhinestones around it like I said I was going to do. I glued it and I painted it white. You can't really see the white because of um, this throw that I have right here but it is white and I really loved how it came out and again I do apologize that I couldn't give you a step-by-step -step on how I did it but to be honest guys it was really simple um the only time consuming part I found was difficult about it was really cutting the um the flowers um how I wanted it um, what I did to get the fullness of these flowers I broke them up in pieces like I kind of split the hydrangea in half to be able to have the fullness. I only used three um, hydrangea heads, so which was very cost effective. I would say this total look cost me, I wanna say 20 bucks. Um, some of the stuff I already had and some of the stuff I did not have. And another disclaimer, that moss from the Dollar Tree is, it's something to work with. It's not, it, it gets everywhere, but once you put it down, um, you'll be able to to maneuver it but it was just like putting it putting it down was not difficult but it's just messy um another tip that you don't see in the video is that i had to stuff the edges of my um painter's box i have the two foams on the inside but the edges was open in order to get the height that i needed i had to stuff it with like paper or plastic um to get the height that i needed so if you decide to recorrect this look just remember on the size of it in the inside you're still going to have the stuff um around where the foam board is or you can just buy extra foam board to put it on that height and dimension um but again, I didn't do that. So I just, you know, used some bags and used what was at my disposal. And I feel like it still came out the same way. So this is my fall centerpiece. I know it's not traditional colors, but I love it. This is um, the colors that I'm using to, um, for my dining room. And this right here, I was looking for a table runner. And I just didn't find what I liked. And I seen on another YouTuber's video where she was doing her table escape and she actually used a throw and something just reminded me that I had this cozy looking throw that was unused in my daughter's room. And I said, you know, if I bunch it up like a really cozy sweater, it just, it does bring an extra cozy feel like that warm, cozy feel at your dinner table. Um, so one of my challenges is also just in the next is to do my table escape will be my first table escape. So just bear with me. Um, and I also just want to talk about some challenges um, of being a new YouTuber. Okay, guys, today's project, you're going to need some moss from the Dollar Tree, four um, circular vases, three foam mush things, flowers of your choice and some craft craft um rectangular squares or bins or whatever um it's more like a painter's box you can either um, buy it or make your own and i'm going to be making making my own a glue gun glue sticks um some pumpkins if you like i have more of those and some more accessories around here somewhere so i'm so sorry that I got from Hobby Lobby that I'll be painting and stuffing in. Okay. Okay, so since I had a, a video fail um, 
for this beautiful centerpiece, what I want to do too is just take out the time to thank everybody who's already has subscribed. Um, I do see that on my last couple of videos, I do have a couple um, views on it. Hopefully that those views will turn into likes and then hopefully we will graduate to those views also turning into subscribers. Um, so I'm still going to try to be pretty consistent on um, uploading new contents, just like how I'm doing stuff with my house, re re revamping my house on um, my likes and needs and desires so hopefully you know you guys will stay with me along that journey i know this is not going to be like the easy easiest process or a quick journey to like a hundred and something subscribers but i'm more or less doing it because i like it um i'm also wanting to step out of my comfort zone because um i'm kind of like you know i stay in my own little comfort zone i mind my business I, and there's nothing wrong with that but i i i don't jump out to doing stuff like this because the fear of you know people's views or talking about you or disliking you or picking everything um apart on what you're just trying to get across so this is just going to be a new journey um for me and again i thank you all for rocking with me and again hopefully you like the centerpiece sorry again that my video did not come out how i wanted to um in the next couple of videos i am going to be building stuff for my table escape for fall I'm not 100% sure if we're going to have family over this year. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, you know, the next couple of videos. In my next video, I want to do um, another, uh, I want to do a DUI for the plate chargers. I've seen um, different plate chargers at, at like high-end stores that I really don't want to pay $20 per charger. Um, so I'm going to try to tackle that again. Hopefully you guys like the video. Um, please subscribe to my video, turn on the notifications. Um, also, you can follow me on Instagram at Lily's Eye Candy. Um, again, hopefully I gain more followers as we go. Again, thank you again for tuning in and you guys have a wonderful day.